Good morning, everyone. We are streaming live to Facebook and to YouTube, and we welcome all those who are joining us after the fact. This is a very sudden, but perhaps not so sudden, uh, live show today. Chris and I have been talking a little bit lately about the history of the Spartan short course. And I thought, you know what? Let's just fire it up and start talking about it. Let's go live. Let's be wacky. It's Sunday. Uh, football season's over. I, we need something to do. Welcome, Gary Bellinger. So <laughs> let's get a little bit about you. Let's talk about, first of all, so we, you and I met in Greece <laughs> last year, correct? Yeah, we met personally in Greece and uh, at the Spartan World Championship, the trifecta one. And but I've been like listening to you for years, man. Uh, and you are a Patreon member, so you are a true honk, as we say. Yeah, correct. I have to support it. I like it what, what you guys do. So uh, yeah, you know, I've been with with the OCR community and doing these races like seven years now. So uh, kind of been into this for a while. <laughs> and what city do you currently live in? I live in Mexico City. I was born here, so that's where I, I uh, am at. How many United States Spartans have you done? Oh, that's a that's an interesting question. I've got, done a, done a bunch since 2014. Uh, I don't know, maybe like 10, 15. I mean, not so many, but you know, I've uh, done some. Uh, some back then in Austin and Dallas, uh, in uh, you know, in California. That's like the closest cities, places to travel. And of course, all the world championships since 2014, Vermont, and then everything Tahoe. Do you know where Jack Bauer ranks you in the ranking of Spartan racers? I have no idea because, because <laughs> I was I was raised well. I, we talked. We, I talked with him actually, and um, I was somewhere there f of the guys that have done you know the most championships and stuff like that. Uh, raced elite. You know, I've never been like on the top spot in the world championships but uh I, I did elite and then i changed to age group that's where where i won my uh my the the, the races here in mexico and, and and the world championship i did a little bit better in age group so that's uh that was the last year before uh COVID. so yeah um it would be interesting to see actually <laughs> well well i know he keeps track of people like of like all time that you can just look mexico only oh mm -hmm. but you switched to age group he doesn't do age group that's right but yeah, and, and last year I switched again to elite. So I mean, yeah, I just did age group two years and it was interesting to see how I was going to place there and now I'm back in elite. Cool. Listen, welcome. Yeah. I want to welcome a few folks. Welcome uh Dragon from Germany, Chrissy, Travis. Hey, you guys remember you can you can give money on the old stars thing. I saw those guys, those those uh, guys yesterday in Era Vipa, they were killing it. Theirs, of course, went to some uh charity. My charity is of course my children and their future. Um but let's get into this. So 2014. So we're gonna. Those of you just joining us, we're gonna talk about the history of the Spartan short course uh, with this Spartan cross coming up. And in Vermont, we have talked about this a couple times recently on this show, uh, but it's still uh, so little known about that it, it, I think we can never talk about it enough. And that is the Sunday Champion Short Course Championship that took place in Vermont 2014. Were you there? I was there. Yeah, that was my first uh, World Championship re race. It was, I think, one of the hardest races. I've ever done <laughs> it was my first year my first beast actually and we stayed and we saw the the short course I have, we have got pictures there with hunter and with the guys and it was amazing to see that live all right so let's pull this up through the magic of youtube uh now bear with me folks this uh you know the screen sharing at any time can go super wacky so let's see where we are uh do you are you with me my friend yeah we can see you okay fantastic let's go full screen on this bad boy uh there we go and oh you still seeing it yep okay so here we go this is the famous spartan world curse championship uh to give people a little bit of context um i'll go back to this for a second um what had happened was a couple weeks before the Tahoe Championship, so this would have been the third big one. First one was in Texas in 2011. Nobody really knew about it. Starting in 2012, it was like, hey, 
world championship. We're going to, you know, we're going to start to film these things and make it a big deal. So 2014, a few weeks before Joe decides in one of Joe's moves, Joe DeSena, that is, uh, welcome Max Burns. Um, let's do the beast. And then the next day we're going to do a short course championship and like lowest score wins. So if you win the beast and you win this short course that we're about to show you, you're going to be the champion uh, the next day. And uh, all the racers, you know, Hobie, Hunter, were like, are you high, Joe? You can't do that. We've all been training for a year. You can't do this to us. Like, okay, we won't do it, but we'll film it for NBC. And it'll be a very special thing. And they specifically approached me and said, Matt, you better not post anything uh, about this. Uh, cause I was the only media there, uh, but yet everyone else had their phones out and took pictures. Uh, but thankfully for us, uh, obstacle news run by Joel Getty and Adam Quitko both snuck their phones out and, uh, we can see these videos now. So, uh, let's go to it. You ready? Yeah. But just quick to mention, um, the race, th this one was on the same Saturday after the beast. It was so, the same day? It wasn't the next day? No, it was the same day. Oh, my I, God, even worse. It was worse, of course. You were totally destroyed. And then Joe was like, guys, now let's, let's go and film this. That was in the evening. That's right. That's right. It was. That's right. It was in the evening. It was starting to get a little cold. And I remember looking up and seeing on the beast people still doing it. Right. Um, but Lindsay, it was Lindsay's first race, and she wasn't even invited. Lindsay was fourth that year. Right, yeah. And they didn't even invite her because they didn't know. And they invited some girls who – you know, probably shouldn't have even been there. Um, but yes, thank you for reminding me. It was in fact the same day. So run a, a 13 mile brutal <laughs> Vermont championship beast rest for a few hours and now run this short course. Now, before I start it, do you remember the dimensions? Like how many meters or do you remember any of that? I'm not sure. I don't know. It was like, um, like 400 meters track and you have to get some, like you have to do loops and all over again. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have the details. All right, so let's here we go. So here's the men. So let's okay. So let's look really quickly who he got. Okay, there's Atkins far left. Miguel. Miguel. Um. Uh. Canadian. What's his name? Right here. <laughs> I don't have. I don't see his face correctly. But I know there's uh, Young Pak Young. There's That's Hunter. I say Abdul. Um. Glenn. Glenn. Cody, Cody mode, Jatsko, Jatsko. And, and who's uh, this? Oh, that's what's his name from France. I think who would later go on to film things. Ah, for and, uh, yeah, he works at Spark now. It's, isn't that, um, Thomas Blanc? Thomas, there he is. Yes. And further to the next to Jatsko, I think that's Bracken, right? Cause he raised. Oh yeah. Too. There's Bracken. Can't see him. It's too tall. Yeah. And so sorry, this is Marco Bedard. Sorry, oh, Marco. Marco Bedard. Yeah. Sorry, Marco. Okay. Oh, and who's that in the far left of Atkins there? Who's this guy? No idea. Some big beast. So look at Yatsko. I think Yatsko is going to pull his famous uh, hurdle, hurdle yeah. obstacle <laughs> business. Oh. Wee! <laughs> Here he goes. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's, I, I used to do hurdles, and it's just crazy. It's so hard. So I'm. By the way, I specifically turned the sound off for this so that you and I could talk over it. So then they have a simple. Uh, they have a simple cargo. Cargo. Yeah. Not not very stiff, you know. They like the old with the old, uh, you know, the knots and the yeah. just tearing off down the hill there. There he goes. Yeah, we were there by the sideline, just watching all the cameras filming this. Right. Um, so a short little barbed wire business. Look at all this expensive camera. Never made, never saw the light of day. Never. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, thank God. Thank God for Joel and for Adam Quitko. We'd have never seen this. Uh, it would just be in our memories. But I'm there somewhere. I probably show up somewhere. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm yeah, probably yeah. somewhere. So again, remember these guys have already run a beast that morning. They, they go into the hill to do the Hercoist, if I recall, right? Exactly. They went to the woods. We didn't see that. I think that's uh, that, that's just uh, well, carrying the big log and then they went into the woods um remember uh, there's the doll and he i think he, he raced the next day the ultra and won that one too that's super crazy i mean oh look at atkins showing yeah. his strength he's like yeah guys i'm kind of the beast around here all right so now they go into the woods i believe yeah they've got like this old school hercules hoist 
somewhere we there. For the, we probably just for the camera thing. Atkins still relatively unknown at this point. He's one world's toughest, but uh, once he would have won it the second time that year. Um, but he um, he had just come in second that day. It was kind of his first. Like people, a lot of people still didn't know him. If that's possible to think, right, right. People still didn't know, really know him. There's a little over and under business. We're only going to show one loop of this, by the way. We're not going to show the whole video. I just want to give people kind of an idea. Uh, yeah, because some monkey yeah. bars. Yeah, because there's Hunter Moore like battling so, third, fourth. Right, so Atkins, just... Atkins easily in the lead, but he misses okay. his spear. And exactly. I think if you missed your spears at all. Okay, so now he's coming around again. So Atkins was in the lead after the first lap. Um, but he missed a spear, I think, on his second lap. And I think Hunter is the only one that made all the spears. And so Hunter won the thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, there's Hunter in front. Let's just kind of skip to the end here. It was three laps of this course, right? Yeah, I think it was three laps. Let's go back. Yeah. There's the there goes Hunter, sticks it. And somewhere there is Atkins getting groupie, groupies. Overall, you'll see him. Yeah, I think the only reason he's right. So he's 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 this far behind, and I think he had missed it last. He had missed it the last lap. There's uh that's what's his name. There's Rose. Rose and the, the guy from um from England. Appleton. Uh, Appleton, James Appleton. Yeah. Wait a minute, hang on a second. Is that Dario? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> Dario, <laughs> holy shit! We gotta call Dario. <laughs> no way! Second. This is crazy. This is crazy. Dario just showed up at a Spartan race. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. This is not so. Oh, you yeah, should face, FaceTime him. Hang on. It's <laughs> amazing, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching history in the making. I did not know Dario. Oh, I hope he answers. Dario, I'm not kidding. You're live on a podcast, okay? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something, okay? Are you ready? Okay, you're live. Just so you know, is that you? <laughs> That's in Vermont at that Spartan short course thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching. I feel like this is a fucking detective movie. We're watching it, and I'm like, wait a minute, zoom in, enhance, zoom in, back up. That's Dario. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to see that much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Rose's head is in front of you. That's you holding a camera. Oh, what's his name, Mr. Spear? Are you talking to some chick? Oh, there we go. Listen, I got to let you go. I'll call you later. That was amazing. Bye. Did you, can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> That was Dario. Well, Holy seven moly. Seven years later. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, uh, oh, there's Glenn. Glenn, what can you tell us about that? Give us some Give us some comments. Glenn, Glenn Race, uh, who has joined us. I don't know. It's several minutes ago that he commented. I don't know if he's nice. still here. Um, uh, so, so that was that. And I believe... I believe Hunter did win. Um, he won. He won. Yeah. He I won. think Hunter won like a thousand dollars. I don't remember. There was some cash prize. Um, then Cassidy won for the women. Um, mm, right. Let's maybe. Let's maybe I can pull up the women one real quick. Hang on. I think I got another one. Um, here's a quick goes version. Let's get to the the women version. Let's see if his is whoa. Hang on, sorry guys. Yeah, just crazy to think that all of these guys, and I was there too. We raced that same day, just on the, on this brutal, legendary course. And right, so he's know. not as close. So here's the women. So let's we'll stop. We'll see who we got here. All right, so we've got. Oh my goodness, I can't it's, recognize half yeah, these women. So it's Morgan Mackay. There's Cassidy. There's Rose. There's April <laughs> Lou. There's. Yeah, it's hard oh my, to recognize it. Did you guys just hear me stutter like a goofball? <laughs> what is her name? Begins with a T. I, I I don't know. You guys let me know. And here is this is this is I can't think of her name either. And think about it. Like Morgan is like a long distance specialist. You know what I mean? Like she probably did well that day, probably fourth or fifth in the beast, and then like, hey, show up and run this short, short course. Is this Orla? I can't tell who this is. Can people give me some help here on the right side? 
It was a thousand dollars worth of fit aid, says Eric Richardson. Anybody? Uh, we need we need Jack Bauer. I'm can't forget. This isn't Elise. This is oh, I can't think of her name. Sorry, guys. If you're just joining us, we're we're showing the history of the short course on Spartan. Let's skip to the end. Oh wait, there's there's Matt and the bear and talking about it. There's a good shot of them. That was Magida, talking. yeah. Why didn't they race actually? Well, uh, they both got crushed that day. Right, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no offense, but they probably got crushed. There's Donahue as a little ref there. Look at this big arm they had. Oh, yeah, they brought out all the stops because remember, they're filming the big race for NBC. Right. And look, there's all the beasters behind him. Look at all these sad motherfuckers doing the <laughs> sandbag. Look at that on the right. Poor, that was awful. Poor bastards. So we'll remove that and we'll go straight from that. Carly, thank you. Paul, old timer Paul B in the house. Carly Whipple. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Paul. Needed uh needed an old schooler there to uh to give me the the thing there. Uh let's let's back up a little bit. Uh Glenn saying monkey bars were tough after water. Spear was only 10 burpees. Yeah, it was 10 or 15. Hoist super light. I did horribly about yeah. seventh out of tenth. Uh Paul, old school Paul uh in the house. Carly Whipple. Uh, and then Sean Provost is what is what you were saying that who that was. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. They invited the top 10 in the beast to do the short course. So that's basically uh, what it was. Everybody that was in the top 10 that day got to do the short course. All right. Uh, so thanks for joining in, Paul. Just feel free to make more comments. Okay. So now let's talk about the next one, which you actually participated in, which yeah. was 2016 in Texas. I'll go find that while you you start to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, so there was one. Um, there was the one in Austin, I think. I don't know if you remember. Spartan had some races at the venues, and then they had on Friday this time trial thing, and they did some tests. And I think Austin was the second one. And I used to happen to be there because I always went to Austin. And they just had like on the festival area, they had like um, some uh, sandbags. The the her the the um rope climb the multi -re multi rig and some others and you had to do like also two laps and that same year they did the one the test in, uh, at the Dallas stadium okay so let's talk specifically about the Dallas stadium yeah that's that's the one that had, had i think more projection and and so they invited also a couple of guys to stay after the race they did the stadium uh version at the morning and you just had to hang around for a lot of hours and just uh, just they set up these, these these special obstacles just for the for that event in the evening and 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 then just had some some groups they actually uh, there was Ian Adamson was there too to test out you know the uh, the stuff they didn't do um, some uh, burpees or stuff like that they had like the pistols like the with the like it would aiming some 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 target and you had to like uh, move 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 on after that and uh, yeah there was like um, 400 meter no no well, i think what short you that you do some th three laps yeah, yeah there's there's a video um actually it's i don't think i don't know if that's mine that was when i raced because they had some day, different heats they were like more of elite heats with uh there was a couple of the guys i, I think as isaiah vidal was there and um who else was there not not many uh others because they had to stay until until the race so that's uh so you had to do three loops and each loop you went one more like ring inside and um and 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 see until yeah you reach like the finish line but uh yeah so we had some 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 obstacles like you know the walls some sandbag carries the, the multi-rig um yeah that's that's me racing there in red that's on, i was i was hanging a little bit behind but just coming in uh after after that i i i passed the guy and i think i won that i won that heat uh very intense race very intense race i i, I was i can remember just like um yeah you, you know the your heartbeat just gets up so quickly because these races are so fast and 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 then you what what, what what's all what's always been talked about with um when doing ocr it's uh you you run and you have to stop and and then you have to go uh, go, go fast again and just just yeah just like a, a whole different animal um there were some hurdles too and that's you know that's that's what that's the part with the pistol right you have to aim like this target and if you hit it then you could go and if not you have to stay until you did that 
Um, so give me the breakdown. How how many how many um, obstacles? How many how, with the distance? Talk. Give me the specifics on these uh, on this 2016 race. So it was la one k. So so that's less than less less than a mile. So it's uh, one kilometer. In they divided that in into uh, three loops. So um, each loop you had to do the same obstacles, but just go one one more round inside until you reach the finish line. So you started um, um, uh, running, and then you had to carry a sandbag from one from point A to point B. Um, do something like uh, uh, going going under some things because they didn't have like a barbed wire, so just going under some uh, some 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 ropes they had there, the walls, the pistol, um, like the balance beam, um, the multi rig. They had like uh, an inverted wall, and you had to do that three times. Just basically run that the fastest as you can, and 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 see how you you would you would do there. Just completing one one kilometer at the end. All right, now we're going to move on to 2019 held at a NASCAR racetrack in uh, San Luis Potosi. How do you say it? San Luis Potosi. San Luis Potosi, Mexico. <laughs> uh, what do you want to tell us about this race? I've got some photos. Uh, let's pull up the, uh, the Garmin for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, you should have some, some some nice pictures I sent you. Yeah, so that was, a, that was also um, one of the test uh, races. I don't think they didn't... Um, other uh, others in 20, 2019. Um, I think that was kind of an idea of of, of Spartan to um, let's do like a, a, a time trial. Is it has been done before? So since the race, the like the that that was a trifecta weekend happening in in San Luis Potosi. Um, hello. So that's uh, um, like an hour from Mexico City if you tra travel by plane. Um, and and the race just happened to be there at this this NASCAR racetrack, and and they started the race from there into like into the the, the mountains and stuff. But you had to race a, a, a you had to yeah you had to race a, a little part inside of that uh, track. So I think they guys were like, we have the racetrack. It's it's a eight hundred meter track. Why don't we do like a time trial or something there and test it out? Um, so it was something also a little bit spontaneous, I think, and, and they invited some people from some, some top elites and, and they, 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 they got some prize money in there too. So basically you had to complete two loops of, uh, 800 meter racetrack. So that's, uh, one mile, no, it's uh, one, 1.6 kilometers. And cause they had a couple of the obstacles at the festival area that, that, cause that the festival area was there at the, at the racetrack. So um, yeah, there, 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 there you can see some pictures. Basically, it's you know same format, racing as fast as you can. Yet uh, you started with some with some with some big walls. You had the Olympus, the um, the vertical cargo that's there, um, some rope climb, some multi rig, and uh, some inverted wall, and that was it. Just two loops as fast as you can, and they they did like uh, invite only thing. That's uh, that you see that that's the women's heat and and. They they filmed it. They had they, they had it on, on social media on, on Mexico on Spartan Mexico social media, and um, yeah, because that was that was done the the on the, on the evening after the the first day on Saturday. So we, you had we had you had with the super and the sprint that day, and later on uh, you had to show it up. You had to register, of course, and they did an open wave that, and and some elite and the elites got some money at the end would we know who any of these people are do you want to give us some mexico people that we might know yeah yeah of course i mean the the elites well, we have uh one of the top elites uh well they're not there in that in, in, on that picture but okay. i mean so what about here is this any elite no that's people? that's open that's open heat so um that's just uh there's some more pictures that, uh, if, if, if you move on that's uh yeah that's one of one of the mexican elites um I think she plays second. Uh, she's she's kind of new. What's person. her name? Her name, uh, Claudia Pavia. Lots of sponsors. Lots of sponsors. Yeah, <laughs> some 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 stuff. And that's is that so, you on the left? Yeah, yeah that's me. Oh, that's look me. how tall and handsome you are. How tall <laughs> are you? Um, I don't know in feet. I'm 180. Uh, one one eighty. You know, 180 centimeters. Listen, I have an American audience. If you don't get, break it down, they're they're clueless. You may as well be speaking another language. Yeah, well, let me like let me convert this. Um, so it'll be uh, five nine. 
Five nine. Yeah. What what are you, Kevin Donahue height? You're yeah, shorter than me, bro. How how much are you? I'm like five ten and a half. Oh really? Yeah, I mean you I'm look, you look tall here. You look I'm, tall and lean. Well, I'm 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 slim, you know. I'm not, you know, that I'm are you, more are, you I'm, are you tall for a Mexican person? Yeah, I am for a Mexican person. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, not super tall, but I'm tall. You know, it's uh, we. You know, it's and since since I'm a um, little thinner, maybe I look uh, like 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 you know taller. Sponsored by Santander, they had my auto loan for many years. <laughs> oh, right. oh yeah, they well they 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 sponsoring uh, old Spartan Mexico. Who's, so. who, who is this? Um, that's 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 one of the elites, but uh, from the second heat, they did different ways, and so but he didn't win like the overall race. So they give that that was a medal, you know, they uh, like a very plate. Yeah, so that's 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 one of the most known female athletes. That's uh, Maria del Carmen Barriga, called uh, they also call her Maca. So she won that race. She won that weekend. She was, she's been in Tahoe a couple of times. She she's she has placed like top between top twenty, top thirty in in the world championships. So she's one of the the, the best uh, Mexican female athletes we have currently. And um, yeah, that's like the, the 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 female elite. So yeah, um, Isabel Zamora there. She's another known one, and and the others um, not so recognizable. But uh, yeah, so I mean. Yeah, the, the 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 female field in Mexico it's still not that deep. I mean, there's still uh, there's still like a lot of potential to grow and and have more females come into to to do well the races and but the but the men's one that's that that's that's uh so you see uh, Eugenio the guy the guy who's in first place you met him in 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 Greece he was in Sparta that was his first international race and and he did like um top 20 overall at the uh, in, in, in at the trifecta world championship and the other guy he's been a tackle as well the, the guy in third place it's uh mauricio martinez called pantera and the guys the guy in second place actually worked for spartan he used to be a <clears throat> pro triathlete so um eduardo moreno and yeah so i mean there was since that, that that race was in October, I think. So traveling not so easy that time, and, and you know the, the 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 strong race season in Mexico is like the first part of the year with the national series and all that. So uh, not 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 all of the athletes uh, happened to be in San Luis that weekend. So if you were there and you wanted to race, basically the time trial, you could do it. So I raced that morning, the super, the sprint, and then I did the time trial. It was just. Um, Pretty, 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 pretty heavy. And the next day I did the beast because I was training for for the trifecta world championship. So I did all of all of the races. Um, and yeah, I mean that that got a little bit of of um, of uh, noise on social media, but they didn't do like a big thing, you know. It was like they explained us we're doing like a test. This is probably a product. It might come out next year or something. So I mean they've been doing this for for years. Yeah, so, so I think that's what someone is asking about Watson. Someone's like, "Hey, is that the race Watson was talking about?" Um, exactly, that was the race Watson. So was the, I think the point is yes, that Spartan has had this idea. It's good for television. It's good for spectators. Why haven't we mastered it yet? And I think this is what he's saying is that I think we finally have something. Um, you know, Mark uh, Montano. Uh, good friend Mark. Uh, Mark works for Spartan. You can see him there wearing his uh, his blue shirt. We love you, Mark. Um, he said, even when they do it after weather, like in Big Bear, they shortened it. So Big Bear had snow. They turned the super course into two laps of the sprint, I think, right? Um, and I think everybody loves that, right? Everybody loves uh, more obstacle dense course, right? Less running, more obstacle dense. If you're if you're not so good on obstacles and you just enjoy being out in the woods and the mud like me, you don't like it as dense. <laughs> Um, but most people seem to definitely like that. Um, so, yeah. so it seems like it's kind of a no-brainer, right? Why is it taking Spartan so long to do this, right? Just use the festival. So basically, it just from my perspective, about two or three years ago, when the standardization started, when we went from a, a, a sprint could be three miles or five, a beast could be right, 11 right. or 14. When they finally said, okay, no more of this, not the 5K, 10K wording, that's only been a year, but just the specific, okay, we're going to have standardization. We're going to, we stop building 
uh, rope climb over water. We stopped building her, uh, trolling over water, and they just started uh, standardizing. The festival started getting very obstacle heavy so that you could give people like their families to see them. And so it made sense to me, even back then, well, like, why not just make this the short course? Just make it the festival area. It's exactly. kind of simple to do, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and yeah, I mean, you have everything there. Just give people uh, to run a couple of loops because that's what they've done. And maybe you've just changed some setups of from the original sprint race or whatever. And then you have like this short course thing. And and it's of course it's it's more obstacle you know heavy at the end, or if you have like everything together if you do the short course, but you're still running and if you're running faster than you would race a normal race if you're like competing one of those races. That's like the heavy part, and that's something that I don't, I don't I believe not many people are aware or are training for. So once this happens and becomes like a real product, it will be more specific. Yeah, it's just so interesting because they they you know haven't even gotten this deca thing off the ground because that appeals <laughs> to a certain kind of racer, right? Like, oh, like I want to do that, yeah, right? Like, I, yeah. I think I could maybe do better there than I could at a super or a beast. Uh, and now here comes this other thing, and this is what Josh and I talk about: too many products. Because um, yeah, I think for obst like deca is an obstacle racing, right? Like deca's inside. You know, so this short course seems like a real obstacle race that we could push. And and uh, I, I meant to actually show the Battle Frog race. Do you remember the Battle Frog College Championship race? Yeah, I, I've never done it. I just did one Battle Frog back then. But yeah, I I, uh, I, I saw some some footage of that. So that seemed to be very interesting as well. So let's I'm going to pull some of that up. So yeah. Battle Frog did not have loops. It was one straight line or sort of a curved line. The first year it was colleges. Um, right. Second year they invited pros. They brought in different countries. Um, and it was fun to watch, but it was a little like repetitive because it was like heats, like these this this country against this country. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. you watch them. And then after you've watched like several episodes worth, you it did kind of get a little boring because each race is only what, like four minutes long? Let's let's see if we can pull well, that up. When was that? Like 26? That was 15 and 16. 15, Let's see 16, if we can yeah. pull that up. Battle Frog. Maybe you can answer some questions while I'm pulling this up. Battle Frog College. Uh, where are the questions? Oh, there. You don't see them? I don't. I don't see them. No. Maybe I should uh, go to Facebook. Oh, this is horrible. Somebody, somebody taped their YouTube from their television. Um, hang on. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Let me. Let me go and check some. Uh, some questions. Let me see if I. Can you see them? Uh, yeah. Let me. Oh, this is horrible. Somebody, somebody. All right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, Mark, Mark is saying, because um, Mark was actually, he, he's been a good friend for, for a while now. Um, and, and he was in, in, in Acapulco. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, like a little short course thing we had there too. But. They were actually thinking of doing that because um, it's a race on the beach. So they have all these obstacles that just uh, like a, a, kind of at the, at the end and spread out this little festival area. Um, so, yeah, TMX, Decafit is, is something definitely, everything kind of relates to this very short course experience. Um, so I'm going to pull up, unfortunately, I typed in Battle Frog short course and it they've taken most of the stuff down, unfortunately. Um, so somebody's taped a version, somebody's recorded their TV. So the 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 clarity's not great, but it'll give us an idea. Um, Chrome tab, here we go. Share this. Um, and then we'll blow this bad boy up. We'll make it full screen. Oh, hang on. Uh, I can see, I can see you. Okay, better. Okay, so this was they had um, they had uh, <laughs> uh, they had colleges teams of right. four. Oh, there's uh, one of Corinna's brothers. Corinna's brothers were this was like her whole family was on this show, um, and so this was the course. Uh, it started yeah, off with this thing. I forgot what this was called. 
uh, that's kind of like this old this old school like uh, they use at the military too you know this, this big ladder right and then they go to a little under or nope an over i thought that was an under <laughs> yeah an over. it's yeah there's an under it? yeah it, it was it was actually shown in yeah, on espn i don't know if you saw it i mean i, I oh I no i did i definitely i definitely yeah, did i was actually it. i was actually at this one in florida um i was brought on as sort of a consultant and they actually filmed one quick segment with me but they didn't use it unfortunately but that's okay oh. so oh yeah it's a relay that's right so she's gonna jump through here and then uh, tag boom right, so you right. people on your team yeah, I remember watching that on YouTube because we didn't get like that those ESPN from the US. So, so there's a, a Jerry Carey. If you fell off, you had to start over. Or no, you just have to start where you were, fit where you finished. Right. Okay. I would have made you start over. Those are right. my rule. But those 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 obstacles are very similar to like these 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 uh, military obstacle right. No, no, no courses you see. They call that the uh the the what do they call that? The dirty name or the oh look at that going up to kick and the kicking bell. the bell yeah look that's at that one move boom 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 oh look at that oh what was that called no idea there's another and there's another weaver thing not weaver another uh what do you call it look at this big dude yeah i don't know it's uh like these locks it's huge cargo so, so you can't tell but there's actually this is at a, an actual race so behind him there you could see the festival area well, look at that little lily pads. Oh, <laughs> so she's way back there in the rope climb. So look, so see that over here. That's the Battle Frogs kids race behind him. That's you're in front of the festival that there's an actual race going on behind like an all day 20, 2015 Battle Frog. But unfortunately, like they wanted people to come over and watch it, but nobody really knew it was happening. You know, yeah. This reminds me of those Battle Frog obstacles. Those were good obstacles. Oh, oh yeah. Battle Frog had womp, womp. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> but just, I mean, they 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 made you continue, so it, you didn't have to like start over. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, exactly as you mentioned. After watching that a couple of times, you're like, okay, I get it. It's like um, right. So yeah, so it was a relay, and it's long. It's you know hard to follow. I think I, I believe. Oh you're wait, like, hang on, hang on. He didn't make it up the warp wall. These guys can catch up. Look at this. Yeah, I think he's still far behind. Oh, look at this. It's a uh, this. He might catch up, dude. This is actually exciting now. I'm glad we're watching this. What was that obstacle call? It's like these, like the Everest. They have it in, in, in Tough Mother or something. Uh, the audience could tell us what that. What I forgot the name of that obstacle. I remember they got rid of it. It was huge, and they made a smaller one, and everybody was mad because it was their big signature obstacle. <laughs> this is the Normandy Jacks. Oh, he got on his first yeah. try. If he had failed one more time, it might have been a lot closer race. Oh, uh, they're done. Yeah. So three, yeah, so three minutes a heat, right? Um, three minutes a heat goes by pretty quick. Um, Definitely made you a better all-around OCR athlete. Mark giving us a lot of the, the comments here today. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, he's uh, been around. Is, aren't you on the West Coast? Isn't it 7 a.m. where you are, Mark? Wake up, buddy. Good job. <laughs> so what did you think when you when you heard about this uh, Spartan Cross? I loved it. I mean, uh, I, you know, we saw it at the Spartan Games, and, and, and it looked very uh, appealing, of course. So now that it's kind of official – and uh, that we're going to have something finally official from Spartan so everybody can race, hopefully. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward for that. Um, so there's, there's a lot of racers that are just very focused on the very short explosive distances. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Definitely, definitely looking forward for that. Uh, are you allowed to leave your country? I'm yeah. I mean, I I could I could leave, but I would just have to quarantine and stuff like that. So I mean, so yeah. But no, 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 going to Jacksonville or something. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. If you're allowed to come yeah. to that first race, yeah. I mean, I I I could come. I would just have to. Uh, I think I have to quarantine a couple of days and 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 prove that I I don't have COVID. And yeah, it's not easy to travel right now. So I mean. Maybe further ahead when when things get better, but yeah, it would be nice. I mean, we don't have races here. It was just post everything was postponed until uh, until uh, June, and let's see if that doesn't get canceled because things have been bad here. So, of course, the, the idea to go somewhere else, even Europe, is 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 tempting. But yeah, traveling is not easy right now. 
All right. Well, listen, thanks for hopping on and doing this. I know we had planned to talk this morning, but I surprised you and said, let's do it live. Yeah, so uh, it's good. You want to tell people where they can find you on Instagram or anything? Yeah, um, my handle is uh, the same one, Instagram and, and Twitter. It's uh, Chris, you know, the, as, as you can see on, on the screen there with, with, uh, with my name and last name. My, my, na my last name is Scherf, so that's German. So basically you look me out, out like that and you'll find me. Um, so yeah, so um, looking forward to you, Matt, and, and, and hopefully a lot of the friends, you know, you know, we saw just Mark Montano there and there's people connecting and, and just missing racing. It's been, it's been too long. Yeah, I realized uh, this morning, I was like, it's literally been 12 months since there's been a Spartan race, competitive race. It's been a year. That's a really long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my last race actually was in March. They they did the first Mexican race where Mark actually was there. We, we saw we saw him there. He came down to race the the, the Acapulco race, race on the beach, and uh, almost a year. And and we had plans to go to to Greece in November, and that was canceled as well. So hopefully hopefully this year, I was actually uh, um, named uh, team captain for Mexico for this year. I was supposed to be team captain for last year. Now I'm going to be team captain for this year. Hopefully everything stays and we, we get to go to Greece again. Well, I will now call you El Capitan. El Capitan <laughs> from Mexico. <laughs> All right, man. Good talk. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Thank you very much, man. Matt. Uh, yeah. Be good. Good chatting with you, dude. It was nice. All right. See you. Bye. Cheers, man.